Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error code 0x8007009. The directory is not empty when you are attempting to copy or delete a folder in a drive. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd suggest would be if you actually had a folder that you're having an issue with, just right click on the folder and then rename it to something else and then attempt to move or delete it as you were trying to prior and see if that resolves the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in File Explorer, best match to go back to File Explorer right above App, so go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side and now go underneath your local disk. So now you want to right click on whatever your local disk is here, whatever drive perhaps you're having the issue with and you want to right click on it and then select properties. You want to now go ahead and select the tools tab and underneath error checking this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select the check option. So select scan drive. You can keep using this drive during the scan. If errors are found you can decide if you want to fix them. So go ahead and left click on that. It will take a couple moments to run here so please be patient. Okay, so once it says your drive was successfully scanned, if it was able to find anything, I would suggest just letting you go ahead and fix it, restart your computer, and see if that's resolved the problem. You can also attempt the system restore if you're still experiencing issues. So just go click on OK, close out of there. If you're still having an issue, you can always go ahead and just open up the star menu, and then, like I said, try system restore. And if that doesn't work, you can try just typing in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. So now into the elevated command line window, we're going to go type something in, and that will be sfc space forward slash scan now. We're going to be running the system file checker tool here, and you're going to go ahead and hit enter once you have it as it appears on my screen. This will take a few moments to run, so just please be patient. <laughs>
it might have been able to find corrupt files and successfully repair them. So we will restart our computer this time and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.